Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about the one most important thing in the world for humanity is love. So we're today we're talking about love. And the greatest example of love was Christ. Christ came to earth, the Son of God, and showed us what love was. He had compassion. Um, he never felt that he was better than anyone. Uh, he never put himself on a pedestal, even though he was the Son of God. He was here um, and he, again, he had compassion, you know, people that would never be looked at or helped because they had disease or, or because they were women or they were, you know, unclean, he would um, be there for them. And he's the biggest example of love. And, um, so love is the only answer you know that's why they say that through christ is the only way because christ equals love and love is the only way now you know religion um religion is of man right uh there's some truth you know uh but most of it is of man there's some truth and some of man of the eagle of whoever invented that religion at the time because jesus was not about religion remember he came um to disrupt the church the jewish church at the time and um Oh, I just saw two beautiful hummingbirds. I love it. Um, hummingbirds, by the way, mean uh, messengers of God. Um, but yes, you know, he went and disrupted the Jewish church. And he was not about, you know, religion. He was talking about being the example, the I am that God lives within, not in a building. Uh, but what did they do? 30 years later, they created the church, the Catholic church in his name. This is after 30 years, uh, you know, the Romans decided, oh, okay, it's time to do something in his name. And the story uh, goes, or at least the story in Rome goes, is that the emperor at the time, Constantine, the mother uh, had a dream. And the dream was that the Romans had killed the Messiah, the one true king. And now because he did that, they did that. They need to build a church in his name, in the name of Jesus, because they killed the one true king. So um, 30 years later, they went ahead and built a church, which is St. Peter's, the very first one in Rome. Um, and they made the Pope uh, Peter, which was one of the disciples. He was one of the very few that stayed behind because after Jesus was crucified, all the disciples, they took off. They, they just, they, they took off because they knew the same thing was going to happen to them because of their beliefs and who they followed. So, um, my tribe, which I am the descendants of the house of David, we're the ones that ended up hiding in, uh, Portugal. So we're the Israelites of, um, uh, the, uh, Safat, uh, I can't even say it, Safaris. And, but there was 12 tribes. So they went to different places. Uh, Peter stayed behind. He ended up being the first Pope. And again, Jesus was not about glorifying himself or anybody else except God. But Peter always wanted to be the first. If you read the Bible, Peter told Jesus about being the first. And Jesus told him, if you want to be first here, you're going to be the last in heaven. Again, it was about everybody's equal and Peter always wanted to be more and he wanted to be a better. He, he didn't like the fact that Jesus walked with Marie Magdalene, that was a woman. I mean, there was so much. And if you read the Bible, you'll start to see Peter's character. But then you see that after the crucifixion, Peter becomes the priest. He becomes the very first Pope. The one thing that Jesus did not want. He didn't want anybody else to be better than anybody else. He wanted everyone to go directly to God, our Father, because that's exactly what he is. So again, religion was made of man. Religion was made of ego. I'm not saying that Peter was completely a, a horrible human being because we're not. It's the choices that we make along the way. And um, at the end, if uh, you know, and I want to close it with, you know, everything has a uh, a beginning and an end and God is very just. At the end, uh, the very first Pope, Peter, uh, was uh, killed as a martyr and they were going to crucify him. And he said, I cannot be crucified like Jesus because I am not like him. So I believe that at the end, he realized that he had messed up, that he had created all of this or helped create all this uh, to just bring another institution to program. 
uh, which is the Roman Empire, um, the Roman Catholic Church to this day. Uh, the priests, I mean, the Vatican, uh, the British Empire owns 75% of the world. Uh, so we're uh, part of that small percentage that they do not own. And it's up to us to really start to realize the truth that religion is of man that is not real that the true kingdom of god lives within it's all of us all of his children we have that energy source we are a fragment of our father and uh that is uh the source you know that is god and we're we have that you can call it source you can call it energy you can call it soul uh, but we all have that connection. And in order to have that straight connection to God, we have to live righteously. That's why you see people, you know, like when I went to Mexico, they, they have uh, Santo Toribio. They have all these saints that they made them saints uh, because they created miracles. Well, the only reason they created miracles was because they were living righteously, uh, the laws of God. And because they live righteously, God heard them. And whatever they asked came true. So if they prayed for someone that had cancer, then, you know, the cancer would go away. And now what they're doing is they're actually praying to these people instead of doing uh, the example of what they did. Live righteously and you have your own connection. You don't need a middle person. You don't need to go, you know, to a priest. You don't need to do none of that. You need to go straight to our source, which is our father. So again, remember that love is the only way um spread love be love by our examples start from within um the number one thing is you have to respect your temple and it starts with what we put in our body because if we're not uh alkalining our body if we're not sleeping correctly if we're not giving the body what it needs it will not function correctly and this is all a gift you know God has given us this gift to have this human experience today and this time and um, all knowledge is being revealed equally to everybody you just have to go out and really open yourself up to the truth and the only way we do that is by starting with ourself our temple and work within and then with our family it's how we treat the people around you our neighbors you know uh, the people we encounter every single day um, God shows himself through vessels, through humans, uh, because we're just that little fragment of him. So we have to, you know, be love. And in order to be love, again, we have to start with ourselves and what we put in our body. So sending you guys a lot of love. Uh, this is Nora. Mwah. Sending you